Are you developing an SoC with USB 3.0 IP using an ARM V8 processor? Today you will see how you can use the Juno ARM development platform with Designware USB 3.0 IP prototyping kits to start implementing IP in your SoC in minutes. Our setup includes the Juno ADP connected to a Synopsys Hubs DX FPGA-based prototyping system with pre-configured USB 3.0 host IP and SoC integration logic, a USB 3.0 host SuperSpeed Phi daughter card, simulation test bench, reference drivers and application examples. The kit includes an adapter board which enables communication between the Hubs DX and Juno ADP. Here is the IP prototyping system, the adapter board and the Juno ADP. We connect the kits physically and logically. The physical link uses three HAPS Track 3 cables to connect the kit to the Juno ADP. The logical link is a reference design that enables communication between AXI and the ARM thin link. The kits include an SD card with the USB 3.0 host controller and all associated SOC integration logic. The USB 3.0 Phi daughter card includes real-world IOs which allow you to connect the hardware prototype to devices like a commercial USB 3.0 stick. This setup lets you develop, integrate and test your IP in the context of the Linux kernel mainline OS working out of the box. It's compatible with most software development tools, so software engineers can start driver and firmware development in their preferred environment. To see the USB 3.0 host IP in action, first I will turn on the Juno ADP, the Firedotter card and the Hubs DX system. During the Juno startup, all the logic and programming sequences needed to bring up the system are loaded. The system is automatically configured as a USB 3.0 host. Once it's finished, I'll plug the USB 3.0 stick into the Firedotter card. On the other end, I'm going to use the HDMI output port from the Juno ADP to stream the video image to the LCD in 1080p video mode. The system uses the USB 3.0 driver from the kernel mainline, and I can run any standard Linux application. Once we have the setup running and USB stick properly enumerated, I will stream a video to the LCD. This video file, contained in the USB 3.0 stick, goes through the PHY, is processed by the USB 3.0 controller, sent to the Juno ADP, sent to the HDMI output, and displayed on the LCD. Getting the reference design up and running is that fast. Let's look at the system performance. We can use a regular command line Linux utility called HDParm to get benchmark data. As you can see here, we are getting the transfer rates within spec for read and write USB 3.0 operation. OK, so now you have seen what Synopsys provides within the kit to quickly connect and get started with the Juno ADP. To support your software development, the kits include the fast iteration flow of tools. This flow uses a Synopsys Core Consultant tool with a simple GUI interface to change the configuration generate RTL and verify the IP integration using the simulation test bench environment, all in about one hour. Now you have seen how you can connect the Designware USB 3.0 host IP prototyping kit to a Juno ADP to accelerate your SoC development and get your USB 3.0 products to market faster. Thanks for watching.